Cooking Good Lookins. My name is Cindy Metter and I am a fangirl. Hey guys and welcome to another day of Vlogoween. So today I'm going to be making some butterbeer and I've used a pretty simple recipe. There are tons of recipes on the internet. I've actually already made this video and I used a harder recipe and it turned out a complete disaster. So here I am remaking this with a simpler recipe so that you guys can make it with me and enjoy it a little bit better. So here I go. This one's pretty simple. Um, all you're going to need are some cream soda. Uh, you're supposed to get butterscotch syrup, but I could not find that anywhere, so I got butterscotch flavored M&Ms, which is not the same thing I know, and it's going to taste pretty different, but it's the best I could do, so I, maybe it'll even taste better, we'll see. Uh, you're also going to need some sugar, some heavy cream, some vanilla, ab vanilla extract, and uh, some melted butter. I've already melted it, but... Um, it's in there. I'm also going to post this recipe in the description, so if you want to make it along with me, then you'll know all the right measurements to do, and if you're in a different country, you can do whatever conversions you need to do on your own. I also added some rum extract to the recipe. It's not in this recipe, but I found it in a lot of other butterbeer recipes, including the one that I made before, and I found it really helped with the taste, so I'm going to add a little bit of that into my recipe right now, too. So let's get started. So first of all, what you're going to want to do is take is take your cream soda. I'm gonna do the butterscotch first because obviously I need to melt the M&Ms and put them in the bowl. Uh, but if you already have butterscotch syrup, you could do the cream soda first or the butterscotch first, it doesn't really matter. I've melted the butterscotch M&Ms. Guys, don't get it, butterscotch M&Ms. That was such a terrible idea. And I have now burnt them a little bit so my room smells disgusting. But we're gonna roll with it because this is the best I got. So, I'm going to put the butterscotch M&M's into the bowl with the cream soda, and that is the first step to the butterbeer. Oh, that's really gross. Okay, so we only have one measuring cup, and the stuff gets hard really fast, so we're just going to have to pour the cream soda in over it, and see how that goes. So you're going to need about six cups of cream soda which is the majority of a two liter bottle, but not all of it. Okay, so there's four cups. Oh yep, it's completely hard, which is what happened last time. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just going to mix this butterscotch flavored M&M crap in with the cream soda and just let like the cream soda get a little flavor of it and then I'm gonna dump it out because I did this last time and the problem was the brown sugar got too hard and it just kind of like ruined the whole thing but the flavor was good. Alright and then I'm just gonna let that whole mixture just sit there while I make the whipped topping. Just let it stew. Okay, so now for the whipped topping, what you're going to want to do is take your cream and basically just whisk it until it's nice and whippy. I don't know. And then once you do that, you're going to mix in your sugar, your butter, and your whatever else is in this mixture, your vanilla extract. but obviously I don't have that, so we're just gonna whisk really fast and for probably a long time. About 20 minutes later, I finally finished whipping the heavy cream and my arm hurts like the dickens. This is the mixture up close, see how it's kind of whippy and it looks a lot different than when I started, which is good, and it took a lot of effort, so I'm proud of it. So I'm going to want to use two tablespoons of sugar for this recipe, and just put it in with your heavy cream mixture. After the sugar, you're going to want to do two teaspoons of vanilla extract. 
cannot say that word. I'm adding the rum extract to the butterbeer mix. I think I'm only going to do one teaspoon, uh, but again, this is completely optional. It's actually not part of the recipe. I've just seen it on others, and I thought it would be a good idea to add it in. So, ooh, there we go. Now that I've done all that, I'm going to add my melted butter, which is now completely not melted anymore. I'm going to remelt my butter, and then I'm going to add it to my whipped cream mixture. Okay. I'm going to mix this in. That is it. So I finished my butterbeer mixture. I finished my topping mixture. Also, this is another optional thing you can do. If you want to make it frozen butterbeer, you can go, add, go ahead and add vanilla ice cream to the mixture. I'm just going to do regular butterbeer because obviously I've already made a mess of that in so many ways. So we're just going to roll with the easiest thing I could possibly do. And if you want to do something different, you totally can. So let me take this gross butterscotch crap out of my mixture. And then I will pour this into my pitcher. Also, um, the recipe says to ladle this into separate cups, but I'm just going to use a pitcher because I'm going to this to my roommates if they want it, and I don't, they're not here right now, so they'll just take it when they get it. Um, also, I don't have a ladle, so we're just going to try pouring this in very slowly. Oh, this is going to be such a disaster. Oh my god, that actually wasn't a disaster. That looks pretty good. Look at that. Okay, now for the big reveal. I can't get any through the whipped cream, but the whipped cream tastes really good. I'm proud of myself. Good. Oh my god, I wish I had a straw. I think I definitely prefer it frozen. So if, yeah, I would recommend adding some ice cream because it just feels warm. I usually drink butterbeer frozen, so this does feel a little bit weird. But taste-wise, not terrible. This was a pretty good recipe. It was also pretty easy. And if you had butterscotch syrup and weren't a complete idiot, you'd probably do it really well. So um, I would definitely recommend doing this recipe, which I will put in the description again. And um, good luck to you in all your future endeavors. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Uh, check in with me tomorrow because I'm going to make videos every day this month. I'm going to try to at least. I don't know if I'm actually going to do it because it's super duper hard and I'm a college student. Anyways, so uh, I hope you enjoyed the butterbeer making if you made it along with me or if you didn't, I hope you enjoyed watching this. And if you did, go ahead and hit subscribe below because I make videos every week but also every day if it's October, which it is. This is just a disaster. So I'm just going to say goodbye now. Until next time, peace out Girl Scout.